Kelly Barlow Creations, Crafting on a Budget. If you are new to my channel and stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it when the bell appears, YouTube will notify you when I'm uploading a new video. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below, along with my PO box if you're interested in sending me mail and watching me open it up in a video. What am I bringing you today? Today I am bringing you a DIY using these two wood items that you can get at Lowe's and Home Depot. This is a DIY that I've done years and years ago that I've had in my house for probably seven, eight, nine years. And I honestly don't know why I've never brought this DIY to you until now, but I am bringing it to you now. And this is a really cool, easy DIY, budget friendly. It's gonna cost you $10 max. And the outcome is amazing, and it is one of those DIYs that you can interchange seasonally or for each holiday. You are gonna love this. So let's jump into it and let me show you what I use these two items for as a decor piece in my house. For this DIY, I picked up one of these wood fence pickets that you can find at either Lowe's or Home Depot for about a dollar. I'll also be using one of these traditional wood table legs that you can also find at either Lowe's or Home Depot. I paid $4.98 for it. Two of these mini cup hooks. I found these at the Dollar Tree. I'll also be using one of these sawtooth picture hangers. This came in the kit from the Dollar Tree with the mini cup hooks. You'll need two wood screws. I had these on hand already. I raided Jeff's toolbox. I'll be using some black flat spray paint that you can find at Walmart for 97 cents a can. I also picked up two sets of these plaque wall decor signs that you can find at the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna start this DIY off by taking my wood fence picket and I'm gonna measure down 18 inches. This is a three foot fence picket and I only need the top 18 inches of it. When you purchase wood from either Lowe's or Home Depot, they allow for three free cuts. So don't be intimidated by the fact that you gotta cut wood because I promise you, it is so worth it. So take your fence picket and ask one of the workers to cut it at the 18 inch mark. Since I have a saw here at home and I love woodworking and I love working with my saw, I'll be cutting the wood myself. Once I've cut it, I've got my two pieces. I'm gonna set my bottom piece aside because I'm sure I will use it in another woodworking DIY because all we need is this top piece here. I'm using a 14 inch traditional wood table leg and you can see on the top that there is a screw. I'm gonna use my pliers and I'm gonna remove the screw from the top of this table leg because I don't need it. Now taking the sawtooth picture hanger, it comes with too many nails to easily attach it to the back of wood. And so that's how we'll be attaching it to the back of this fence picket today. And I'm gonna do it right in the center of where the top is here, where these curbs are. That's where I will be placing this hook. Now taking the wood table leg, I'm gonna attach it to the other side of this fence picket, centering it here at the top where these indentations are. I'm gonna attach it by using the two wood screws and I'm gonna place a wood screw below this hanger and above this hanger. Just like so, above and below, leaving me with this. You're probably wondering where I'm going with this DIY and what I'm using these mini cup hooks for. Let me show you. Along the bottom edge here of this table leg, here's the top of my fence. 
This here is the bottom edge of the lake. I'm gonna be screwing in the cup hooks into the decorative carving out part of this wood leg, the etching, I guess you would call it. And there's two different sections where the wood has been carved for decorative purposes. That's where I'm going to screw these mini cup hooks into. It's about six inches apart. So you should be left with hooks here and here in these two spots on your table leg. And using this black flat spray paint that you can get at Walmart for under a dollar, I'm going to give this a nice coat of black paint. And there you go. Now taking these two signs that I picked up from the Dollar Tree, I picked up two different sets of signs. I'm going to remove the twine that is attached to the top of both of these signs. And I'm not going to throw this twine away. I'm going to set it aside because we're going to need it in a minute. Once I've got my twine removed using Aileen's Tacky Glue, I'm going to put a nice generous amount of glue on the back of this sign. I'm going to be sure to stay about an inch from the edge of this sign because I don't want any spillage of the glue. Once I've got the back covered in glue, I'm going to take my other sign and I'm going to place it on top, giving me a two-sided sign, a double-sided sign. I picked up two sets of these signs because the Dollar Tree had some really stinking cute autumn and harvest plaque signs. These wall decor signs are so stinking adorable and I really just couldn't choose between the both of them for this project so I picked them both up. Once my signs are dried and glued together I am going to take my twine and I'm going to replace one piece of the twine back into the holes the way it came. Only now we've made ourselves a double-sided sign. Now all that's left to do is to hang this up and I will be using just a simple drywall screw in the wall for this because it's not a very heavy piece at all. And just simply place our sign here in the hooks and would you look at how stinking cute this is. I love this. I have three of these in my house that I've had for several years now and I just love the way they look. I think they are such a fun piece of decor to add and it is so inexpensive and so budget friendly and the best part is that you can do this for any holiday or any season because the Dollar Tree always carries these plaque wall decor signs. I found this heart wood sign at Joann's and this shamrock at Michael's and the best time to buy these is right after the holiday when they mark these items down 75% off. And I thought it would be fun at the end of each video from now on to do some subscriber shout outs, show some of the recent comments from some of my recent videos. Thank you to A Busy Mom's Life, Gloria Smith, who always shows amazing support to Allie, Kayla and I's channel and Rachel Thomas, Sandra Keefe, and Paula Paxton. Tell me this isn't stinking cool. And what I love about this piece is that you can very easily interchange it for the holidays in the season using the plaques that you can get at the Dollar Tree. I love this piece and I hope you like it as well. Please give this video a thumbs up and let's get this video to 2,000 likes because those thumbs up really do help my channel to grow a bit faster and help YouTube to notice me a bit more. Until next time everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day, happy crafting on a budget, and bye for now everybody.